Well, profits are soaring and stocks almost back to their old highs. David Bonson, the Bonson Group managing partner. Hello, David. What's cooking? So this is a nice turn of events. Yeah, it's pretty much earnings driven again, Larry. You have uh, expectations that come down a little as far as the percentage of growth that they were expecting out of uh, earnings this quarter. And I think that a lot of traders got caught off sides because they had been underestimating earnings growth for five quarters in a row. Then they went the other direction. And now all of a sudden they're saying, wait a second, it looks like it's going to be good again. Now it's still early. We saw some good ones after hours here today. Some consumer staples were a little muted this morning, but the financials were strong. A couple of the industrials that have come out have been good. So I think as uh, the earnings go, so goes the market. Earnings look good. Did you see this story? These two nutty British economists, one of them teaches here, one of them teaches in London, that we're, we're, we're in a recession or we're going into a recession imminently. Did you see this goofy story? Yeah, I did see the headline. And once I saw that it was a couple professors writing who don't have to manage any money or <laughs> do anything that has any consequences, have no skin in the game, uh, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it. Yeah. The reality is, uh, obviously, we're not in a recession. You can see from every economic metric known to mankind, but at least they got mentioned and got a little clickbait around their story. And you know what else? Uh, this was your point months and months ago. The outlook for this terrible bill, spending and taxing bill, has diminished. We're going to miss the October 31st Halloween deadline, so that's good. Yeah, that's a treat, not a trick, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, pushing yes. it to November. But, but the big issue now is the Virginia governor race, because uh. I don't know who's going to win. But if McAuliffe loses, if Glenn Youngkin wins that race, I don't think they'll get a bill at all. I think you'll have House moderates running away from the bill. And so that race becomes really important because Pelosi failed to deliver this thing by Halloween. All right. I think it's a great point. I think you're right on target, David Bonson. Thank you very much. A dose of optimism. Folks, I'll be right back with my last word.